Greetings, and welcome to Really Art Taskmaster. This is the show where once every year you get to laugh at your silly old teachers without any consequences. Go on, the worst they're going to do is give you homework. And let's be honest, who even does it? Anyway, without further ado, let me introduce you to the showcase of everything stupid and silly. Now, unfortunately, I'm not talking about the show. I'm talking about the former Taskmaster. Oh, sorry. My new assistant. Was last year's show not funny enough? How are we going to make this one even better? Well, this year we've doubled the amount of tasks. All the teachers are participating. Uh, we, we've also increased our production budget this year. We spent 5% on a green screen, and the rest you decided would just about cover your paycheck. Well, you see, I did spend quite a lot of my own money on this trophy for the winning house. You know, it's got my likeness. Short and hollow. Right, I've had enough of you already, and it's only been a minute. <sighs> Where's the reason people actually came here? Coming right up, enjoy this feast of foolishness with a generous drizzle of gravy. Hello, miss. Hello. Uh, could you please stand by the task? Okie dokie. Could you uh, please open the task? Kerst. Here we go. Correctly identify the item in each balloon in front of you. Fastest time wins, your time starts now. If I don't finish reading it, I just start. You have to read the entire task. I thought I had an out there. Hmm, intriguing. So they need to find an item in each balloon. Simple, I like it. But I do have one question. What house is Alan Gray in? Did you use a magical sorting hat? No, we just asked him. Uh, what's your favourite house, Alan? My favourite type of house? Yeah. A uh, log cabin. Uh, we'll put him in bay. <clears throat> Time to see the infamous Gillian McHughes. Who's that? I can pop it, yeah? If you want to, yeah. Ooh! Oh, so you're going to have to... All right. Ooh, yuck! It's squidgy and slushy and... Very careful. Careful? So squish them. Let's squish them for a wee while. So it's just going to pop in my face. <laughs> oh, have you got some dodgy balloons? Oh, wait. I thought I felt something there, but I think it might just be my hand on the other side. What is that? Oh, oh yes! Oh, what was in it? Was there something in it, or are we on about the liquid? This one's got some, oh, squish coming out of it. I squish all the stuff out of it. I've got washing up liquid. I've got dirty washing up liquid. Okay. I've got an empty balloon. I've got a balloon! I've ah, got a good. balloon! Very good. Next one? Yes. Oh, all right, okay, this, I can feel something in this one. It's like, that looks like a balloon. Is it a balloon inside a balloon? That's one correct guess. Yeah, boom! This could get messy. Hey, there we go. Oh. And the you object. Found the item yet? I'm not sure I have, it was very small. Ah, no, wait, there's something small and green there. No, I think I might have lost the small object. Okay, I think I might have lost it. Uh, move look. on to part two. Oh, hello, there's something here. Oh, like, oh, like a marble? Yes. Oh, yes. yes. 
Boom! Right! Where'd you get these from? Oh, really? Tea bag! Tea bag, brilliant. Yes. Well done. Yeah, they're very explosive. Wait, there oh. we go. Ah, another balloon. Uh, very good, sir. Whoa, way. Right, okay. okay. Step back, everybody, within a half mile radius. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Ah, tea bag. That's the okay. one of them, tea bag. Two balloon. items down, sir. And whatever the first thing was in the other one. I think I dropped it over here. I wish I hadn't dropped it. And maybe the first person to fail the taskmaster. First of many, sir. Ah, okay, that's fine then. It don't feel quite so bad. Oh. No, I found something archaeological. It might be a small... No, it's a twig. <laughs> oh. A leaf? <gasps> I'm not sure. Do you think you might need to open it? I do think I'm going to need to open it. Oh, guys! I don't have fingernails very much. I'm certainly not going to use it for my mouth. Anything sharp? Meh. No, okay. Oh! <laughs> it's a tea bag! Yes! Well Woohoo! <laughs> Dirty water. <gasps> no, it's a marble. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're welcome. I think I rocked it. Excuse me. Got my dish gal. No. Oh! No. I thought it was a pea, but that's just a corner of the tree. So it must be on the ground. I should have used the tree to drop it on. Can you give me a wee clue as to what I'm looking for, Taskmaster? <laughs> Something round and hard, sir. Something round and hard. That's what it did feel like inside the balloon, actually. But it wasn't the pea. No, it wasn't the pea, It sir. wasn't the pea. Uh, I give up. I give that, up, sir. I'm afraid I give up on that one. Your time has stopped. Sorry. Javon. It was a marble, sir. A marble? Oh. Wonderful, is that it? Yeah. You wee dancer! Boom! <laughs> <laughs> Failure. Not just a chemistry teacher, Carl Parker. Not just a chemistry teacher. Thank you. Um, thank you very much. Welcome. Have a good day. Totally worth it. Oh, magic! Surely I was the fastest. Have a good day. Jiri and Drastamaha, Fisker Matt. Sometimes remind myself okay. that I'm here for a good reason. <laughs> it's got nothing to do with dirty washing up liquid. It, it, was, it was gravy, don't worry. Was it? Yeah. <laughs> a fantastic performance from everyone except Mr. McInnes. He is the first contestant to fail me. His punishment will be severe. Can I disqualify him? Mm. Seeing this as it's his first time, uh, I think it would be rather harsh. Besides, he didn't break the rules. You could argue he misidentified the marble as a pea. <sighs> Fine. Is it Alan o'clock? Yes, it is. Right. Your time starts now. <whistles> time has started. Can I damage the boy? You can do whatever you want, sir. <laughs> I think it's a marble, but I'll check it. Marble yeah, on that marble. one. Marble, well done. Absolutely nothing but dirty water in that one. There are items in all of them. Ooh, that was lots of tea bag in that one. Marble on that one, and something else in the other. Tea, I think, just actual tea. It's quite a large item. It's quite a large item. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, another balloon. Very good, sir. The time has stopped. Yes! Thank you very much. Pleasure. In every which way. <laughs> Have a good day. I'm away for a shower now. Can we have the scores? Unfortunately, Mr. McInnes did not guess all the items correctly and took the longest. I'm putting Mrs. Campbell in joint second place with Mrs. Hughes. This is the difference of four milliseconds. And in first place, with a time equivalent to a common garden snail traveling a distance of one and a half cucumbers, is Mr. Alan Gray, the winner of this task. <laughs> Do you want to see how we made the balloons? 
Oh my god, it looks like you've sacrificed a sausage. Quick, blow it. <laughs> Moving swiftly on. <laughs> Are you bursting for this next task? Positively fitting. I'm kind of hoping these for me to eat. Knock the figure off the pole using only liquids. You must remain behind the rope at all times. You may not manipulate the rope at any given time. Fastest time, Wayne, your time starts now. Can I ask you to move the figure closer? I'm afraid I can't do that. Off the pole. Time starts, I know, I know, don't stress me out. Oh, I like the sound of this one. Knock the figure off the pole using liquids. Easy peasy. Well, let's see how the men got up. Right. Right, that was useless. Well, I mean, the obvious thing is to just throw the mentos immediately in the Coke, hope for the best. I think I'm going to start with three. Three didn't work. What are you going to do? I'm going to just try more. That's what you want me to do, is to fill that with mentos and then hope for the best and try and blow it off. I didn't work. Just notice there's something on the back. Tell Packer a joke. Let me take a minute to think of a joke. What are liquids doing? Mm. Right, right, can the liquid be in its bottle? So technically, if you said, what are you knocking over this, is liquid. Oh no. You, this is so hard and stressful! Oh, two gone. Knock the figure. Oh, damn it. Tell Parker a joke. Oh, you, you are, but it's so faint. Why was the maths book so sad? I don't know. So it seems full of problems. What's for the joke? Tell Parker a joke. A slice of cheese looks in the mirror. Hello, me. This goes on the top, and then basically I'm going to release that with drop the mentos in, and then that should be it. Why did the tape work? No, hang on. Know. Why did the beach run away from the tide? I don't know. Why did the beach run away from the tide? The seaweed. There's no tricks involved. I don't. I don't believe you. <laughs> I just don't believe you. I'm going to try and just shove some extras in as well. Ah, no! Well, what did they say in Jurassic Park when they were hiding from the dinosaurs? Do you think they saw us? That's a very good joke, sir. I'll get a spare one. It's the same amount. I just missed last time. What have I done there? Let's keep them cheesy. Why were six afraid of seven? You know the answer. Seven, eight, nine. It's a very bad joke, sir. You didn't say good joke. You got one more good joke? Don't have jokes that'll make you laugh that won't get beeped out. I've got my mum's favourite joke because she's a child. Knock, knock. Who's that? Interrupting feet. Interrupting Bah! Feet. Oh, this is ridiculous! Oh, yes! I did it! I can't believe I made such a mess of it. Now my question is, now I've not used all these packets of Mentos and there's lots of Coke remaining, does that mean these are for me? Sugar all right!
I'm not allowed Coke, there's too much sugar in it. Uh, I'll be back. Okay. Uh, he'll be back? Wait, what do we do? I, I don't know. Shall, shall, shall I play the music? The plan is to just smash this off the back. Thinking outside the bucket. Well done, Mr. Henderson. Extremely close on three separate occasions. You might have noticed with Mr. Patterson that we had a bucket there the whole time. If they told me three jokes in a row, I would have given it to them. And they could have told me the same joke three times. <sighs> well, there's no point telling him that now. Want to see me sack me over? Go on then. Fastest time wins. Your time starts now. So, using only liquids, yes? Your time started. Oh my god. They're quite heavy. You know that my, my hands are weak. I could do better with my legs, but... Oh, gosh. I hope I don't break anything here. Oh, it was close. You might need to be careful how many bottles you use. Ah, so this there. is the last one? That's the last one. Oh, no. So, hold on. Oh, that's it! Done! Yes. yes, that's it! Thank you very much. That was fantastic. <laughs> that was super quick. That's it? Okay. So, thank you. Thank you very much. Nice. Guys. Have a good day. You too. Bye. I think they all deserve a round of applause. Would you like to see the schools? I would love to. In last place, we have Mr. Henderson with a staggeringly leisurely 17 minutes and 23 seconds. Third, Mr. Hughes. Second place, Mr. Patterson. And a crazy speedy time of 35 seconds, Miss Akmalova, the winner of this task. Fantastic. Next task, please. Uh, wait, there's been a scandal. Somebody crossed the line. Yes! The That's a disqualification. Mr. Hughes is now in last place, meaning Mr. Henderson takes third. That's unbelievable behaviour. You know what? We need to stamp out this cheekiness. Cut the head off the snake. Well, don't you worry. I've already got that sorted. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Hughes. Hello. Oh, what have you done? What have you done? What is this? <laughs> There's nothing on the back, silly. Yeah, all right, OK. Touch the boat. You must remain touching the boat until you complete the next task. So I think we'll just go for it. Right, touch the boat. Okay. Okay. It's your second task, sir. Hide the boat. The boat may not <laughs> leave the sports hall. Do not step on any of the lines in the sports hall. After your time is up, Parker will enter the room and have one attempt to guess where the boat is hidden. The most successful hiding place wins. Your time starts now. I'll leave you, sir. Come on, boat! It's me and you! Let's go! Come on, boat! Come on, boat! Do not step on any of the line. Where is the line? I don't understand. What line? Okay. Come on. Ah! The boat! Seriously, this boat. Okay. Damn you, Dawes! Right, let's try this next bit. I think. Damn it! <laughs> that was number two. Where's the first one? Pop up, come on!
Come on! It's all touching it. Oh God, I've done this terribly. There's another valve. Oh, there we go. So it's fine. Okay, done. That's your ah. time, sir. Which mat is under? No, we can't come closer. Left. No! It's in the middle one! Yes! Very good, sir. That's right. That's right. That's how we do this. Really sweaty. This was a terrible idea. Thank you very much, sir. That was really difficult. Thank you. Peace. Impressive effort. Two points. I think that's him, Tot. Well, time flies when you're having fun. It's the end of this half. But even with that brilliant display, I'm still a little offended. In Mr. Hughes? Not only that, but Mr. Patterson argued with the taskmaster, me! Very bad joke, sir. You didn't say good joke. You didn't say good joke. Oh, oh, that? Don't worry about that. I got that sorted out too. Good. Hello, Parker. Using this dry marker and whiteboard, write the following sentence repeatedly until you think the taskmaster will be satisfied. The duration of a task must also recite the elements of the periodic table. Ah, oh, oh, this is why I'm going to let down Mr. Larassa. Okay. Oxygen, nitrogen, argon, krypton. Fluorine, bromine, carbon, cesium, helium, hydrogen. Um, I can't remember any other elements. <laughs>